Hello, everyone. Welcome. I am dual casting. I just found out that was a world word on Instagram and Facebook, and we are going to talk all about Saturn's return. I posted about this and gave you guys a little bit of a sneak peek taste into what I was going to be chatting about tonight, but it is all about Saturn's return. So I polled you and I asked my audience on Instagram, are you a woman or man between the ages of, well, in your late 20s, early 30s, or are you maybe in your late 50s? So more specifically about 27 to 31 or 55 to 60. If you're listening and you fall into that age range, let me know. Drop it in the comments. And also let me know that you're listening. We're going to have a little party all about Saturn's return. And if you are someone in those age ranges of 27 to 31 or 55 to 60, this is going to be especially interesting for you. But if you are not, I promise there will still be information that will be relevant to you. So Saturn, the planet, takes about 29 and a half years, 29-ish years, to make one orbit around the sun. And Saturn's return is de defined as this astrological phenomenon thought to occur when the planet Saturn returns to the same point in the sky that it was when you were born. Okay, there's actually some Saturn's return like calculators out there. I can't actually say like how accurate those are, but uh, if you go to some of the more reputable uh, astrology or astrologist websites you can definitely figure out the actual period of time that Saturn is back in the sky same place as when you were born hi Kareen hi Amy hi Megan hi is that Mari Jen hi I'm a weirdo hi hi Todd hello hello I think my sister's on hi sister hi Anna awesome hi Paula on Facebook Awesome, you guys. Okay, so if you're in those age ranges, let me know. And again, this is when Saturn returns to the same place in the sky as when you were born. And your first, so you can have more than one Saturn's return because most of us, especially in society today, live past the age of 30 and even the past, past the age of 60. So you may experience more than one of these returns. Often you were, you experience at least two. So the first one, that 27 to 31 year old range, the next one more 55 to 60 year old, and then you may even have a third which is between the ages typically of 84 to 90, and then who knows with medicine these days, maybe some of us will receive, will actually go through four Saturn's returns at the age of 114 to 118. Pretty crazy. Hi sister. Thanks Todd. Hi, Jen. Okay, so the first one is really thought to be this time when we shed our youth and we leave youth behind and we enter true adulthood, <laughs> whatever that means, right? So it's not to say that you aren't really an adult and mature when you turn 18, but that at the ages that, sat, that first Saturn's return, whatever age you are, you enter this like true adulthood. And what that meant to me was really accepting myself and deciding what was aligned with my life and what I needed to shed. Because for me personally, in my 20s, I was trying to figure out who was I and what actually what did I actually want to do? Not what, what was the world telling me to do? Or did I feel like I had to do? But what did I want to do with my life? So again, first Saturn's return, entering into adulthood. And it can be up to two year period where, again, Saturn has shifted in the sky. And this, this is typically a period of your life, one to two year period, that is hard. It's challenging. You figure out, okay, what have I done for the first 28, 29 years of my life? What do I want to do for the next 28, 29 years of my life? So there's these bumps, there's these obstacles. You, you kind of get shook up. <laughs> and it's said that Saturn's return is there for you to experience and learn lessons, to be able to build character, 
to prioritize your life and again, shed what's no longer for you and make space for the type of life that you do want to live for the next 28 to 29 years. Cool. So again, during this time, and a lot of you guys, again, this poll, it was so interesting. So I didn't, I meant to say this originally, there was at least 70 ish percent of the people who are in my community are actually in these age ranges. How interesting is that? That not only are we experiencing potentially chronic illness, something that brought you to autoimmune tribe, whether that is wanting to heal on an emotional, spiritual or energetic level, but you're also going through your Saturn's return. So interesting. So a lot of you fall into this category. A lot of you, again, over 50% had never heard of Saturn's return. And then a lot of you, again, over 50% were like, oh my God, this makes so much sense. This makes so much sense that my life feels rocky. It feels bumpy. It feels like there's chaos that surrounds me. And Chaos can present in so many different ways. It can be that your relationships are, you're starting to question them. Uh, it, it can actually be a time when someone who may be in their early, if you got ma married in your early 20s, that you are thinking about divorce in your later 20s. Your life is changing. It's not to say, I'm not trying to freak anyone out. It doesn't mean that you're going to get divorced or anything, but you might see relationships changing and shifting. And you may also find it an amazing relationship that's totally in alignment for you. You may also question your job path, career path. Am I on the track that I want to be on? Or is this something that I feel no longer aligned with? You may look at your, your inner circle, your friend group, and think, are these the people that I want to associate with or maybe our interests or paths have started to divide and you just don't resonate with them anymore? It's a time for you to, to question your life and all the things that make up your beautiful life and the shadow and the light and really start to reflect on what do you want, what don't you want, but in that period, there's challenge. It feels like the universe is giving you a test. It feels like the universe is giving you a freaking challenge, a little obstacle course to run through. It's called life. And I experienced my Saturn's return, my first Saturn's return, because I'm not in my 60s or 50s yet. Um, uh, well, I started to sort of experience it around 2015, but the um, my main period of Saturn's return was all of 2017, so all of last year. And I'm going to tell you guys more about what happened for me during that time in just a second. First, I want to talk a little bit more about Saturn, the planet, because it actually symbolize, it symbolizes the father, personally, like your personal father, and universal father, like this masculine energy. And so it can set us up with these responses to men in our life, the relationships like I was just talking about. And it can also be something that because this fatherly energy is super present and, and very close to us, literally to earth, then um, you may also feel inclined to fix maybe what was broken about any relationship with your father, um, men in your life that you have a strong relationship that, with or that you look up to, or, uh, you may reflect on that relationship and kind of, you may not want to fix it, or maybe it wasn't broken, but it's it, the lessons and how it has shaped you and groomed you today might be really surfacing between that, that masculine fatherly energy in your life. So when you start to enter the Saturn's return, it's like this invitation to, to like roll up your sleeves <laughs> and say like, okay, life, I'm ready to stick my hands into the dirt. And I'm ready to potentially build this thing called life that I thought maybe I had a pretty good handle on from the ground up and to really just peel back the bullshit so that you can, I'm thinking of like Superman right now, <laughs> like bust out and be like your superhero, superpower, intuitive being. So how is that feeling for all of you? How is that all feeling for you guys in your bodies, who is going through or has experienced their Saturn's return when, if you have already experienced it, did you know you were going through it? So I had this interesting experience personally because I knew what Saturn's return was 
as I was going through it. And I just kept being like, okay, life, okay, universe, I see you, I hear you. I know that you are going to keep throwing me challenges this year because, hey, Saturn, <laughs> you <yeah>, asshole. <laughs> just kidding. They were all really good um, lessons and challenges that I was able to, to learn basically all during the year, my 29th year of life. Healing, yes, that's a beautiful way to describe it. What's first waning? Mm, I didn't. I don't think I said first waning. What do you mean? Sorry. The fit nurse mom. Hi, hi Tara. Hi, more positivity. Hi, what is this? Charlie? Is that Charlie? Awesome. Hi, Laura. Hello. Hi, guys. Okay. So. Remember that Saturn is all about rolling up your sleeves, getting freaking dirty with life. And this is actually from um, oh, what are they, the Astro Twins. So if you guys want, I love looking at Astro Twins and AstroStyle.com for some, some of the astrology nuggets and tidb tidbits. But they said that some things that you may, that may end or some things may end or expire during this time, your Saturn's return. And the task is not to force them to linger on. So patience is also a mighty antidote. A grounded and accepting attitude can work wonders. Meditation, personal growth classes, self-help books, whatever gives you a new framework and perspective for understanding life and rolling with its punches can be great. An older person, perhaps a mentor in their late 30s on up, can also give a huge dose of perspective because they've been through it, right? So look for bigger opportunities. You might feel like you are playing small in your life and you know you wanna play bigger, but you just aren't sure how to get there. Now is the time to shed that old snake skin that is making you small and gray so that you can be fucking bright. They said, don't be, don't be the big fish in a small pond. Challenge yourself to grow and even to learn how to fail. Saturn's return is a challenging period, but an important one. You may be going through a big breakup, career, cross-country move, whatever, right? For, for a lot of us, it might be chronic illness. The worst of your chronic illness symptoms may actually happen and present themselves during the ages of 27 to 31. Raise your hand if that happened to you. But this is what I freaking love. I love this line. But after it's done, you will be Beyonce. <laughs> or at least a slightly beyonce -e er version of you. You, slightly beyonce -e er version of you than you were before your Saturn's return. Okay, I butchered that, but you guys get the point. So I see this as an invitation to break down in order to initiate a breakthrough. You guys have heard that before, right? So my Saturn's return, again, was the year 2017. Shit hit the fan a little bit. I was 29 years old, and I had already been diagnosed with autoimmune disease, different forms of chronic illness, but my autoimmune symptoms were like during 2017. I didn't talk about every single detail, and I'm not going to go into every single detail today, but I will tell you that I discovered a lot that was holding me back in my healing. For example, I learned I had a parasite that had likely traveled to my brain that I was able to work through, but I had this parasite infection that was preventing me from truly healing. I had horrible bouts of anxiety around like April, May, the worst I've ever experienced in my entire life. I learned that I had heavy metal overload, which I'm actually working through right now. I posted about that earlier. I learned that I um, had oxalate, excess oxalates in my body. My vitiligo got worse. My hormones were imbalanced. I have I'm still working on it. High estrogen, low testosterone. Found I had had a yeast, um, yeast overgrowth, fungal overgrowth, a gut infection called H. pylori, which some of you may be familiar with. I also moved across the country that year. Yep, decided to pack up my things, just like they talk about in all the blogs, that you might make a cross-country move. And I moved from Michigan to Colorado, and kind of within that same two-year span. I also did Chicago to Detroit, Detroit to Colorado. <laughs> 
and I technically I got married. My uh, boyfriend and I got common law married. Just making big life changes over here. <laughs> I quit my job. I had a, a nonprofit, uh, full time chief of staff job. It was for a food and agriculture organization. I was managing people, doing a lot of writing and research, and I was done with it. It was what I kind of went to school for and got my master's degree in international public service. And I, I mean, I had set myself up pretty well to be at the you know, number two in this organization, but I quit my job. I started my business autoimmune tribe full time. I decided that I was going to follow my, my gut, my feeling, my empathy instead of following this track in life that I thought I should be following or was expected of me or other people told me was what I was supposed to do. My dog always wants to be on the live streams. So I started a full-time business online entrepreneur journey and I worked through some crazy ass money blocks that year. All of my money shit surfaced that one year and it was like I was challenged. I was challenged to decide am I going to continue to believe these limiting beliefs in my life, especially around money, or am I going to choose to change them? Am I going to ch choose to shift this and decide that money supports me and that money is a neutral energy and that it, it is simply an exchange of energy when you pay somebody or someone pays you? And a lot, a lot, a lot shifted in my abundance and abundance mindset and in my bank account. <laughs> and I started getting really strong intuitive downloads. The strongest intuitive downloads that I've ever experienced in my entire life, all during my Saturn's return. And it, it was interesting because I always knew I was empath. I always knew I had this weird thing about me where I just kind of knew what people were thinking or I knew how people were feeling or I would think about them and they would call me or you know when someone's lying and you definitely, I definitely cry during all of the TV shows. But this year was different. It felt like all of a sudden, it wasn't just kind of this this like vague thing anymore. It became crystal, crystal clear that I was intuitive and that I was receiving messages that were there to support me through this process of Saturn's return. I have one specific story I want to tell you guys, which is an interesting one. I was doing, I do automatic writing from time to time. And what that is, is just channeling energy, universal energy, writing down what that energy is telling you on paper. It's called automatic writing. I was doing this and for some reason I wrote the word Joshua tree. I had never heard of Joshua tree. I didn't know where Joshua tree was. It is um, a national park in the state of California. It's beautiful. It's called Joshua tree because of the beautiful Joshua trees that are there. And then uh, a day or two, maybe a week later, I, um, and I had been seeing the number 30, 30, 30, 30 fucking everywhere. 30. And I was turning 30 that year. And I, um, Told, told, I uh, called my girlfriend and she was doing a, a card reading for me and she had no idea about this 30 thing. She had no idea about this Joshua Tree thing. And she was like, you need to go to Joshua Tree to, to do something. And I was like, wait, what? Joshua Tree? And she was like, yeah, for some reason I just feel Joshua Tree. And I was like, why do you... Are you inside my head right now? <laughs> and so I was getting all these signs between 30 and Joshua Tree and 30 and Joshua Tree. And I knew that I was supposed to go to Joshua Tree to start writing my book. And so I packed up my bags. I got in the car with like <laughs> not very much money, just enough money to, to drive to California and live there for a little, well, not live there. I basically I rented an RV and I camped out and wrote part of, I started writing my book. And it was, it was amazing. It was me finally connecting and listening to my intuition and it was so 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 powerful so during Saturn's return my point is my intuition also just like skyrocketed i'm gonna catch up on your comments here for a second i feel like mine's been going on for the last four years <laughs> i that's why i was like i think it started in 2015 even though like the the internet told me it was just for 2017 i feel like it was two full years if not three i feel you there kareen um shine bright like a diamond thanks paula <laughs> you're speaking my truth yes amen sister such a great leap of faith that's when miracles happen yes you have to trust you have to trust the process we're in michigan i lived in detroit but i'm from oak miss michigan and i went to kalamazoo college yeah I love my Michiganders. Mid Midwest will always be home. 
Okay, so I just told you about all these things that were like a mess. They were chaos. They were stressful. And they were all happening at once. And it felt like shit was hitting the fan. It felt like the universe was challenging me. But also, during that time, I learned, again, this is a time, a period of lessons in your life. I learned how to create strong as fuck boundaries. I cut some toxic people out. I added soulful people in. I said no probably more than I've ever said no in my entire life because I was always too afraid to say no. And I decided to lay some groundwork for boundaries in my life. And then I got to know myself. I really truly got to look inside and peel back this little chest, right? <laughs> and say like, okay, what's inside there, Sarah? What is, what messages does the universe have for me? Who am I? And then I learned how to love myself because I was breaking down for that breakthrough. And through this time, there was deep, deep clarity. Part of that clarity was leaving my full-time job and starting my business and saying like, no, this is exactly what I was meant and put on this earth to do. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop denying it. I'm going to stop, stop resisting it. And I'm just going to move forward and start creating it with fear. Definitely with, with the fear, but the fear subsided and then it just all started to happen. So I really, again, had this breakdown chaos clusterfuck, which then turned into this amazing opportunity to harness my intuition as a superpower and change my fucking life, right? Like if I look back on 2015 and what my mindset was like, what my body felt like, what my health was like, what my relationships were like, what my job was like, what my home environment was in like, was like, just what, that was three years ago, two, three years ago, right? Everything has changed. Everything has changed because through all of these challenges, I decided to, to take them on and to shift, to shift and decide to align, align with what actually felt good versus what I was being told to do. So I just want to encourage all of you today to number one, just be more aware and, and learn a little bit more about Saturn's return, whether you are not to your late twenties and now you know it's coming, now you know it's coming. Um, or if you have already passed it, maybe you're in your, in your mid thirties or forties. Well, I want you to live a long, long, happy life. And so when you turn 55, 56 up to 60, See how life changes again. You might have, you might look back on the last 28 years or so and say, okay, that was a fucking amazing ride. But now I, I want to, I want to take a step back and reflect on what parts were amazing and what parts I want to change again, because we can always change. We can always shift and keep making different choices and evolving as human beings, as spiritual beings, as energetic beings. I'm 34 and wondering if I've been through mine. So yes, Ginger, probably yes. You can go, um, again, I think I mentioned this in the beginning, there's some calculators you can find online that are for your Saturn's return to figure out when it was. But like Corrine was saying, she feels like hers is lingering, right? So maybe there's still lessons, lessons that you haven't totally worked through yet so that they're, st they're still there. They're still present in your life and they might stay there. It's just like when you attract the same guy over and over and over again, because you haven't learned that relationship lesson. So you're just attracting the same person until you learn that lesson and you get the, the message that you're supposed to receive. So same thing. You might feel like you're still in your Saturn's return when you're not technically within the you know planets and the planetary system, but emotionally you may feel like that for sure. What is this again? I'm talking all about Saturn's return. I'm almost done, so you might want to catch the recording. Go back and listen, the bona fide co. Um, that's why I'm ready to go full time, quit my job. It's just asking when. Yes. So it's definitely time to start. Start today. Start now. Start with your voice shaking. Start with your hands trembling. Start. Start and don't stop. Keep moving forward towards your amazingness because we all have this superpower. We all have this gift. And I hope for each of you that you take that, that challenge and the chaos as an opportunity to tap into and awaken your superpowers, your intuition and how you really want to live and align with your life. So with that, I'm happy to answer any questions you have about my personal Saturn's return experience or anything that you guys are going through right now. 
And while you're thinking about if you have any questions, I want to tell you about Intuitive Soul School. Intuitive Soul School is a 30-day program to unlock your inner wisdom and awaken your higher self. It includes four modules that are going to dive into the foundations of what does it mean to be an empath? What are the clairs? I posted about this on Instagram and Facebook today. Tell me in the comments, you guys, what, are, what is your Claire strength? Or do you not know what the hell a Claire is? If you don't, I want to teach you. We're going to learn about the clairs. And so what Claire is your strength? What Claire is your superpower? As well as the chakras, because these are the foundation of how you're going to use your intuition. And so these four modules will break up that foundation, how to strengthen it, how to protect energy, how to transmute energy. And then for the people who want to use it in their business with their clients, we're going to talk about how to actually utilize this as a coach. And if you're not a coach, that's okay. You're also going to learn for people who have chronic illness, how can I use this to be another tool? Or it's almost like, I think that I like to think of it almost as like another practitioner in your tribe or in your support team for wellness. Your intuition is a, just like this whole other thing to consult when you're trying to make health decisions. So we are going to divide, dive into those four modules, but my favorite part that I want you guys to learn about and to experience is these four practice sessions. We're going to split into small groups, and we don't have a, I don't have the total number of people who are going to be in the program yet because the cart is still open for till tomorrow night. We're going to take small groups, and we're going to use Zoom. You guys know Zoom? Just like this video chat and we are going to practice. So for example, I will ask you guys a question about something I want guidance on. I want guidance on my health in general. You guys are gonna practice reading my energy. We're all gonna read each other's energy and give each other intuitive readings so that we can practice. And it's not a, a, a environment where you have to be right or wrong. There is no right or wrong. It's simply you learning how to tap into your intuition and to have a safe, supportive, sacred little bubble for you to be able to practice that within so that you don't feel like the first time you potentially charge for an intuitive reading, you're like some sort of fraud or anything. This is just us practicing. And that is how I was I, I feel so blessed and honored to be able to have had that experience of the circle of people who just came together to practice using intuition. And that was really part of not only the Saturn's return, but then this little practice circle that made me confident, confident in my own intuition, allowed me to trust my intuition, believe in my intuition, and then talk to other amazing sisters that also were intuitive and hear their experience and be like, oh, I'm not fucking crazy. <laughs> Like other people feel this way too. Other people get these feelings and sensations and clear hearing and smelling and tasting and audience, right? So that's one of my favorite parts of this program is just this platform for you to practice. So 30 days, it is $111, $111 to join at the basic entry level price, but there's also an option to upgrade and get personal healing sessions from me where you're going to be able to attune your energy. We are going to tap into rebalancing, clearing the gunk out of any chakras that might be there and rebalancing. And you can always book healing sessions with me, but if you book a healing session with Intuitive Soul School, you save a bunch of money. Awesome? Cool. Cool. So you have until tomorrow night. Any questions about Saturn's return, you guys? I love talking about this stuff. I love tapping into intuition with you guys and providing this environment for us to share that is really that is safe. No one's crazy here. <laughs> this is all safe for us to be able to express ourselves and look deeper into our souls and see what is my body telling me? What are my symptoms of illness telling me and what can I learn from them instead of trying to avoid or resist them or pretend or maybe even like cower away from being an empath because you think it's like this weakness. It's not a weakness. Empaths are fucking powerful. Empaths are going to change the world. Empaths are the healers and change makers in this world today. If you are one of them, please come join me, Intuitive Soul School. You can go find it at my website, autoimmunetribe.com backslash intuitive dash soul dash school. There's a link in my Instagram bio, and I'll drop the link in the Facebook live stream. Cool, you guys? I love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in. Hope this was helpful, and I'll talk to you soon.